So I saw this headline and thought, I have to talk about this. On Barron's, robo taxis are closer than we think. Tesla will have competition. I saw the article posted on X by Gary Black, so I have a sneaking suspicion Gary once again utilising the media to promote his fund. By the way, not a hater, very smart strategy. Let's read the article. Robo taxis are closer than some investors might expect. Tesla has big robo taxi plants, but it will have some competition. That's okay for one analyst, though. There's room for everyone. Thursday evening, Government Motors self driving taxi company Cruise and Uber Technologies announced a multi year strategic partnership to bring Cruise autonomous vehicles to the Uber platform. Same vehicles, by the way, that got pulled a while ago due to a big cover up after a safety incident. Riders can hail self driving cruise vehicles in certain jurisdictions as soon as 2025. The agreement answers one question investors had about Uber and autonomous vehicles. In recent months, Uber CEO opaquely discussed his company's self-driving strategy. Quote, We're in late-stage discussions with additional global autonomous vehicle players to join our platform and we'll have more announcements in the coming weeks and months. Now investors know one of those companies is Cruise. It affirms our contention that Tesla will be one robotaxi player among others, even in the US, wrote RBC analyst. Tom Duran in a Thursday report adding that the agreement also shows that Uber will be able to benefit from self-driving technology by integrating it into its large ride-hailing network. It also, quote, affirms GM's commitment to autonomy, which we applaud. He rates GM shares a buy <laughs> and has a $54 price target for the stock. He also rates Tesla stock a buy and has a $224 price target for the shares. He sees Tesla offering its own network of robotaxis eventually capturing some 20% of the ride-hailing market. That leaves room for others. Uber and Cruise will take some robotaxi market share. So will Alphabet's Waymo. It's already completing 100,000 autonomous taxi rides a week. The company announced the milestone about a week ago. More robotaxi news is coming. As we know, the Tesla robotaxi event just around the corner. Tesla has, of course, worked on its highest level self-driving software. Called Full Self-Driving or FSD, continuously launching new versions of the software that it uses AI computing to train. Tesla has also tweaked the language on its website recently showing how it's thinking about a robotaxi launch. Speaking of Tesla, you guys see Musk posting this, right? A shot of the AI training super cluster. I mean, holy fuck, look at the scale of this thing. Kind of weird for just a car company to have this, right? Oh, by the way, uh, anyone want to show me the Cruise and Waymo super cluster? Oh, wait, they don't have one. <laughs> Not comparable to this. I wonder why that would be. I'm sure it's nothing. Tesla's vehicle ordering page now has an FSD blurb that reads, quote, currently enabled features require active driver supervision and do not make the vehicle autonomous. The activation and use of these features are dependent on development and regulatory approval, which may take longer in some jurisdictions. Prior language referenced FSD continuous improvement and, quote, the activation and use of these features are dependent on achieving reliability far in excess of human drivers, as demonstrated by billions of miles of experience, as well as regulatory approval. It's a minor change that eliminates the language about becoming better than human drivers still. Future Fund Active ETF co-founder, plug, 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 Gary Black, called the language change interesting in a Sunday post on X. How dare they dead name. Adding, quote, I've long argued that Tesla Robotaxi licensing deployment would be driven by local regulatory approvals and not just the flip of a switch. While we're on the subject, ARK Invest have some new thoughts. Robotaxis continue to scale. We're excited to see Baidu and Waymo scaling their Robotaxi operations. Last week, Waymo confirmed that its sixth generation robotaxi, developed by Geely's Zika, will cut the number of onboard cameras from 29 to 13. So this is a very strong indicator, as I said years ago, actually. The deletion of sensors is the real flex. The less sensors necessary, the better. You see some of these dumb companies bragging, we've got 69,000 different sensors. Get fucked. No one cares. In fact, it's reverse indicator. The more sensors you have, the worse your software is, the dumber it is. I mean, hello, humans, how many sensors do we have in terms of vision? Two cameras and a brain, that's it. And we do okay. So sensors being deleted is positive. However, it also has LiDAR. That's gone from five LiDAR sensors to four. Awkward. But hey, at least they're trending in the right direction. Although Waymo has not disclosed details, the cost of new vehicles is likely to be much lower than the rumored 100,000 plus for the current model. Separately, in its recent earnings call, Baidu highlighted that during the second quarter, its autonomous ride hail platform averaged around 75,000 rides per week. Notably, while Baidu now operates 100% autonomously in the same city in which their world was blessed with a wonderful, wait a bit, not, will I get cancelled from YouTube if I say, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Yeah, you know the place with a lab that does the things, but then the thing was everywhere and, <laughs> whoops, what a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, same city. So their 100% autonomous fleet in Wuhan has 400 vehicles. Importantly, 
While Waymo and Baidu are first to market in robo-taxi operations, as shown in the first chart below, our research suggests that Tesla is training its autonomous system with around 70 times more data. Oh, is that all? And we'll look at the charts in a moment. As will be the case with most AI projects, Tesla's data scale advantage is likely to lead to commercial dominance. I'm just going to read that again. Tesla's data scale advantage is likely to lead to commercial dominance not leadership, dominance in this winner-takes-most opportunity. We look forward to monitoring this space with keen interest in and special attention to Tesla's Robotax event in October. So this chart shows autonomous ride run rate in terms of annualized miles. You will note that Baidu and Waymo are actually doing some autonomous rides today. Tesla and Cruise, not. This chart is, I think, the foundation of many... <laughs> Very embarrassing perspectives on where the future of autonomy looks. Oh, it looks like Cruise and Waymo and uh, Tesla's not even doing it yet. They're obviously not in the leadership position. I've explained this before. If you can't dig a little bit deeper and understand the implications of what Tesla's doing and the data, which again, will lead to a dominant position, there's no getting through to you. This is giving a lot of people a false sense of reality. Oh, look, see, Waymo and Baidu are years ahead of Tesla. Tesla isn't even operating robotaxis. Baidu and Waymo are, therefore, they got to win. Here's where it gets interesting. Autonomous Smiles run rate. Same companies are currently on the chart. We've got Baidu and Waymo, where they were on the previous chart. And the number of miles they're doing annually relative to Tesla autonomous, not RoboTaxi miles, but autonomous miles, e.g. FSD. I mean, bro, hello. It's like, as I said, like 70 times more miles, 70 times more data. Can somebody remind me what's necessary for AI dominance? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Data. Hmm, how curious. Now, call me crazy, but I don't think a lot of investors, smart as they may be, grasp this. The data is necessary, foundational, fundamental. The company with the most high-quality data will win. Baidu and Waymo both appear to have their noses in front because they are operating, quote, robotaxis in tiny pockets of a few cities with trillions of sensors having to pre-map everything in HD. This is fooling people who don't understand that that's not how Robotaxis will scale widely. To scale widely, you don't use a brittle, narrow solution with a bunch of hand-holding and guardrails. You need to develop a generalized intelligence that's human-like in its capabilities that you could, in essence, pick up a drop anywhere on Earth. And if it knows how to drive fairly well on one road in one city in one country, it'll be able to drive fairly well anywhere else. This is the distinction between what Tesla is doing, a generalized solution. It's actually intelligent. And Cruise, Waymo, Baidu, which is extremely brittle. And I'm not taking anything away from these companies. It's still cool that they've pulled it off. But ultimately, Tesla's going to have a generalized form of intelligence that knows how to drive on roads on Earth, meaning they'll be able to scale their service incredibly fast. This will not be true for companies like Baidu and Waymo. And again, here's the data. Tesla has the data. The data is how you win. It's not even a contest, bro. I'm going to keep this video super short. What's it saying? It's not how long your video is. It's... How well you get your point across. So here's my point. I'm going to quote Ark again. Please pay attention. Tesla's data scale advantage is likely to lead to commercial dominance in this winner takes most opportunity. So bringing this full circle, robotaxis are closer than we think. Tesla will have competition. Electric vehicles are closer than we think. Tesla will have competition. I could do this all day. There'll be plenty of companies operating their little robotaxis in tiny little pockets of certain cities. I personally believe that Tesla is going to take the lion's share of the profits in terms of autonomy. Please somebody explain to me without high quality data at a comparable scale to Tesla, how the fuck anyone would develop their own generalized autonomy that's even close to as capable. I don't know how that's possible, but maybe I'm just dumb. Want more content? Early access? Bunch of perks? Click the links in the pinned comment. AG1 is awesome. I've been taking it daily now for more than three years. It's a great way to fill in nutritional gaps. It's packed full of vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients. Plus, has prebiotics, probiotics, and adaptogens to improve gut health, regularity, and help your body handle stress. I'm always looking for an edge to help me feel and perform my best, which is why I haven't missed a day of AG1 for more than three years. And I haven't missed a daily video in more than three years. Must be a coincidence, right? Just try it and see how you feel. Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs. But don't take my word for it. This is what viewers of the channel had to say after trying AG1. I feel like I have a lot more energy since I started on AG1. By the way, viewer, that makes two of us. On to the next. Just got my AG1 in the mail. Legit feeling the effects after day three. This viewer's been taking AG1 for eight months and says, what an investment. Another. Three months ago, I started AG1 and have been enjoying the evenness of alertness and energy that lasts the day. 
I just started the wife on it too. Are you convinced yet? I mean, hey, it's worth trying, right? Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR or I can keep going. Plenty more to come. This viewer, after about a month on AG1, definitely a lack of fatigue in the afternoon. Pleasant side effect is that my coffee intake has imploded and is almost down to zero. One more. Yeah, why not? I honestly feel younger and will be continuing to use AG1. This stuff really is crazy good. I didn't think it would be, but this stuff is awesome. It really is what everyone is saying. One more. Don't mind if I do. I've just received my third month supply. I've drank it every day. I have so much energy throughout most of the day. I'm productive, started a new business, started socializing, refurbished a boat. It's no coincidence. Thank you for your persistence, your integrity, and your insights. Now look, these are not my words. These are not my testimonials. This is what you guys and girls are saying. Maybe it's 100% placebo effect. But even if that's the case, I think it's money well spent. Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs. If you're still skeptical, hey, I don't blame you. Everyone on the planet seems to be promoting AG1 now, but guess what? They weren't nearly three years ago when I had this to say privately to my Patreon audience before there was a relationship, when I was asked about what I was doing for my health, energy, and so on. Just sharing my genuine, honest thoughts about a product I'd recently discovered that was at the time called Athletic Greens. Now, AG1. If I could only recommend one supplement to take, Athletic Greens, and I'm not getting paid to say this, Athletic Greens is a fucking game changer i just i cannot believe how effective this is no longer having a lack of energy in the afternoons it's fucking amazing there's only one thing to recommend seriously try athletic greens you won't go back so obviously just like elon musk is a liar a fraud a con man a scammer a fake engineer and tesla's going bankrupt you shouldn't trust that guy from about three years ago who without any financial incentive was promoting this product to his audience on patreon when they're asking about health and what he's doing for supplements because obviously there was some other reason he recommended that obviously I'm not sure what it was but don't trust that guy. And all the testimonials, like my mental game has improved with AG1. I feel better than ever. I'm so impressed I've bought it for both my parents. I feel more focused and have better digestion. Incredible difference. No more afternoon fatigue. It's relieved gut issues. These are all just obviously fake testimonials from fake people. Right? Wrong. Just try it. Unless you hate yourself. If you hate yourself and you don't even want to risk possibly feeling better, this is not for you. But for everyone else, what's the worst could happen? Try it for a month. See how you feel. It's a no-brainer. Just click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR. You'll get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 and K2 plus five travel packs. And you'll take the colossal risk that maybe you might have a similar experience to some of the people whose testimonials we've read in this video.